It was very hard to find him. After days of searching all over New York City, we finally did. We made our research and found out that he always walked through Central Park. And it was there, and only there, where we would make our move. Fifth anniversary with Claire. I don't know what to buy her though. I'm looking for something pretty, but I just don't know what. If you take this job, you can buy her pretty things for the rest of your life. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, gentlemen, please come in. Thanks for coming. Sure, not a problem, but we came here for a reason, you know? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Let's get into business then. As you know, I am a very famous and wealthy person. I like entertaining at home, and I would like... Of course, but guess. what that's got to do with us? Uh, well, let me tell you. I have... I haven't been able to find a good painter, a man that captures my soul. There was one exception, though. A man made a very nice picture of mine, but he gave it away to a, he gave it away to a museum. And so, you want us to steal it, don't you? Yes, yes, you could say that. Uh, it's not a very hard job. It's in the Literature Museum in Cambridge. And uh, you, you will have to get into the last building, into the main exhibit, and the picture is just in the middle of the room. Just grab it and walk away with it. And now I'm willing to pay you this small amount of money in return for your time and services. Are you in? For my own time must be it, blimey. We went to see the old man. He was the greatest criminal mind of the world. Some said that he could feel the situation through the music of his organ. coming before you got up this morning. I even knew you were coming before you yourselves did. I also know what you're going to ask me. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Well, I can't do it. Not anymore. We will pay you a lot. It's not the money. I'm too old. And my fingers don't work like they used to. So we're in Bernie? No, not really. You need a diversion, am I right? Use him then. The one with the talent to follow my steps. He'll divert the guards and his music will do the job you need. Who is he? He's the Count from Norway. His name is Mikael von Larniken. When he was young, he was touched by music. And since then, he has been my successor. Where can we find him? New York. How could we find him? All we knew was that he lived in New York and what he looked like. Finally we did, but would he help us?
delicious bread. Want some milk? Hey, monk! Look us here! Hello there. Took your time, did you? You... You stole from me today. You took my car. Who are you? What do you want from me? Uh, sorry about the car. You're not mad, are you? I'm David. David Marpour. And this is my partner. Monk Hathman. Uh, no, no. The car is fine. Just wondering... What are you doing sitting in my living room? Yes, yes, to that then. You see, we spoke to the old man and he said that you have just talents for music and robbery. Thus, in the lieu of a better way to pay you back for the inconvenience, and since we're truly great friends, you're going to help us steal it. Steal what? Crazy. Painting. Well, we need you to divert some people and use your magic with music. If you help us, then you'll have our friendship and you will be one of us. Sure, I will help you. I don't want my car back. Sure, here you go. We planned it for months. Day and night we kept thinking on when to do it. Until one day, we found it. It was the perfect chance. On April 18th, the great historian writer Frederick Diaz Ben Granaid was supposed to give a speech on the Battle of Waterloo. That day, we'd make our move. We then went on to get everything ready. We hired a hacker to take care of the computer. Funny story. It's been quite nice last few days. <clears throat> Alright gentlemen, as you know I've worked here for 25 years and not one thing has been stolen. So I don't want the three of you screwing that record up tonight. Is that clear? Yes sir. Okay. So I want you to be a tent, be at your post and have a good night gentlemen. Several more forces sent to inspect the side of the building. 
government tens of everything. Thousands of marching feet had long plagued the population of Europe. Without interruption for almost 20 years, from the rise of Napoleon to this forced abdication, the awful spectre of war hovered somewhere. Hold on, you guys. Come back. Let me lighten up your load. Thanks. I need you to bring Mr. Banks right now. Game on, people. 